Hello guys, welcome back to our new video in our YouTube channel, AC38. Uh, today is the first week of uh, 2022. So wishing every, every viewer or every audience in my channel who watches my video and who doesn't a very happy new year 2022. Wishing everyone has a great year ahead, a great life, happy life. Hope you bless you flourish all the way you have the best year 2022 ahead we see these days covid is surging with a new variant omicron so take care of yourself your health your family be safe today we'll talk about performance and how we do performance tuning and measurements and we'll talk about the surprise measurement technique which is a new development across the systems many of the developers will not know about this but i will try to show you how it is and why it is first we'll talk about the conventional techniques so as we do our coding and we try to evaluate how our code is performing on the ground or in the applications uh, that we need to evaluate through some system tools which are available in uh, ABAP systems. So these are the main ones. ATC is one technique which we uh, use and the other one is AC30 or uh, SAT. SAT is a new version of AC30. As you, if you enter AC30, system will try to automatically move it to SAT. And it will give an option to go which way you want. Let's see what are the techniques which we have just to remember, make you remember what it was. This is the ATC. ATC is a, a web test cockpit there we validate our code and people who are having solution manager integrations with the charm as well. Both the systems, I mean both the processes has involvement of ATC. It does the basic check and allows the transports if you have a configuration in Charm or Solman. And on the default checking, it has transport check sometimes. So ATC is our friend all the way. Every time it helps us to validate our code. If there is some easy nuisance which we don't want to do. And the second one is uh, AC30 and SAT. This is the initial screen of AC30 or SAT. Here we put the transaction or program or function module or whatsoever. SAT is quite different but not much different. It's similar screens with more options. This is how we do the conventional measurement of our development. Let's go to the stats. This is the some this is something I bring to you first. I, it seems that it's the first video on YouTube about stats. Stats is nothing but a transaction with a statistical data. It's a new tool in performance tuning. Uh, so we, every time we code, we want the evaluations to be good. The technical people on the system measurement or basis, they will not be happy if they say much overload on the, uh, on the system on, from your ABAP performance. So it's very good. To get a statistical measurement of your development which you are doing stats is a new tool which does the same there are some preconditions preconceived notions which you need to consider you need to consider that the test system is configured properly you need to consider that there is no much high load into the system that is hampering the measurement and the third one third consideration would be you need to uh, like the representation which you are testing uh, should have equal behavior similar to the production one which you want in the production and the test data should be a good utilization data when you should consider a good level of data that makes you feel real-time scenarios and the last would be uh, uh, the scenario need to be done few times before the actual measurements just to keep the buffers and caches prepared for the next steps so this is the initial screen of stats. If you want to see any detail, you can pause here and see it. Here you will find a lot of uh, parameters, the client, username, transaction, server time, CPU time, database time, program name, and 
KPIs, key performance indicators which you want to maintain or which you want to evaluate. You can save it in application. You can put it for specific dates on the top. There is the date available, date and time. And the stat output screen looks like sometime like this. It will give you the performance of the program that's being run with the username and the performance time and the response time. It will show you how the ABAP memory performed and the HANA memory performed along with that. So, and the RFC time is also available there. You can save it for your further users or you can use it as a comparison. You can put it in the early watch analysis that will help you to evaluate your program in comparison to the standard program SAP has. So that's all for this video. I'll be making similar videos. Uh, please be tuned in the, in the videos coming up. If you like the content, you can subscribe our channel. That's all for today. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.